I was in Houston over this last weekend uh, to visit family. And of course, if I go to Houston, I have to stop by and visit the fine folks over at Drom Goals. Yes, Drom Goals, the hometown pen store. It's actually a great store. Very nice people. And it's really, if you ever find yourself in Houston, Texas, and you want to feel that sense of pen community, go to Drom Goals. I'm not kidding. Go to Drum Goals on a Saturday, or even I was there Friday, but Kirk Spear was over there, so people were stopping by to get their pen nibs worked on. But I'm just saying this place has really, it's a really fun store. And I have to say Michael, Larry, and Olivia, Marilyn, and of course, Dylan, they're all great. I enjoy visiting with them, of course, and just, just go to Drungles, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, the point is they wanted me to try out this new pen. Or it's not new, but it's a pen that is Star Wars themed. And I don't know if there are any Star Wars fans out there or not. I mean, I think I've, I've seen them all. I've seen all of them. And so this pen was, it was pretty cool. And I was like, you know, I'd, I'd like to try it out and review it. I don't know so much if I'm going to hang on to it or not. But anyway, Drongle sent me home with this Cross Townsend Star Wars Limited Edition Ch Chewbacca fountain pen. So everybody loves Chewbacca. And the reason for that is because Chewbacca, he's, he had everybody's back. He was a big, cuddly, giant teddy bear looking creature. And he wore a bandolier and he couldn't really talk very well. He just only made these sounds and I can't make the sounds. I actually, I don't make many sound effects, only sound effects. I can't do, I can't reenact a Chewbacca sound effect. I know there are people out there who can, but the only sound effect I can make is, you know, going pew, pew. That's it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the pen. So the outer box is pretty special. It has an image of Chewbacca and on the front it has the Star Wars, it has a Star Wars logo and all that stuff. And so the rest of it is just an interpretation of space. The final frontier. Okay, that's Star Trek, my bad. For all you diehard Star Wars, get over it. Okay, so the pen comes in this cross box, black and yellow cross box. And it also has included with it, which is kind of exciting, is a themed pen rest for your Chewbacca pen. We'll take a look at this after the pen. So here is the cross box that the Chewbacca pen comes in. Open this up and there's this foam thingy that's there to protect the surrounding areas of the pen. And there's the Chewbacca pen, it's pretty cool. And some literature up here. So let's take a look at some of the components first before we get to the pen. And so it has this, if I can get it out of here. It's, in here. it's actually in here pretty good. Oh shoot. Yeah, that's, wow. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, here, come on up. I was rough, I was rough. So. Uh, we've got a piece of literature that has the, uh, the repeated image of Chewbacca and a little information about Chewbacca here on the back. Got a cross brochure or catalog. And basically what it has in it is just your, probably some warranty information and the, you know, to say it's a limited edition type of deal. In fact, this is your certificate of authenticity for the Chewbacca pen, that's pretty cool. And each pen is numbered. In fact, there are only 19, 1,977 Chewbacca pens in existence. So these are very limited. So if you're able to get one before they all go away, then you should, especially right now. Over at Drom Ghouls, the Chewbacca pen is normally $602 and it's on sale. They actually have it deeply discounted, which makes it really tempting to buy. Uh, you can actually get this for a deal for $240 over at Drongles. So that's actually a very, it's a very good discount. Like I said, it's very tempting, especially if you like to collect Star Wars memorabilia, um, this would be a good one. 
to collect. And from what I understand, like these pens, like I think that they came out with the Darth Vader one a while back and the Darth Vader one, apparently it's like really hard to find and people are reselling them like on eBay for a lot of money. There is a false bottom right here under the pen. So let's take this off. Or actually it doesn't take, it doesn't come off and it just lifts up. So it's like a flap. So underneath here, we've got cartridges and a converter. So this pen does come with its own converter, which is a plus because some pens just don't and it's very frustrating. So let's take out the converter because I will be using it. It looks like it's a, it does look like a proprietary converter. So Crosses use a proprietary cartridge converter system. All right, now let's take a look at this pen. It's pretty great, actually. It's a lot of fun. Here we go. Check it out. What I love about the pen is that, so there's these engraved etched lines that's meant to mimic the texture of Chewbacca's fur. And then there's a brown lacquer over that uh, in the same color as Chewbacca's fur. And I also think that the uh, the gold appointments, which are 23 karat, by the way, are really nice touch. It goes really well with the brown color. And so you have the cross clip. The cross clip is really, it's interesting. Um, you know, it's got a weird shape to it. I don't know why, but I'm sure that's intentional for some reason. I don't know. And then the back of it has the Star Wars and some other things that mimic or, in, or it's like a reinterpretation of Chewbacca's appearance on there. Now, the one thing that I noticed, and it, it took me a little bit to notice this at first, uh, when I first looked at the pen, is on the finial, there is a brown topaz, Swarovski, uh, if I could say the word, Swarovski, Swarovski crystal. So it'll sparkle in the light just a little bit because it's real small. So. so right here on the finial is where your pen is numbered. So it's really subtle, doesn't stick out or anything like that. And it's not gaudy. Um, so yes. Now, let's see. This doesn't twist off. It does pull off. Uh, there. It's got a little bit of suction in there. See, does it post? Yes, it does post. That's nice. It feels really nice. Actually, yeah. I kind of wish the plastic plastic section would match the pen a little bit better. Um, but it's not metal. So some of you guys out there will be glad that it's not a metal section because I think a gold metal section would actually have looked better. But <laughs> I know how touchy you get about those metal sections, but this is good too. Um, now we saw that the converter is inside of the box. So I'm just, I'm just opening this up to take a look. So we've got our the rest of the section and the inside of that barrel, which is a metal barrel, by the way, it is not plastic. I think Cross makes a, a lot of their pens are metal. How about that nib? So we have an 18 karat gold medium nib, which is quite nice. So I'm, I'm expecting it to be a pretty nice writing experience. And it has the Cross logo on the front, along with some uh, decorative details. What I also have next to show you is the pen rest that the pen comes with. So it comes in its own little box. So I take it off and, oh, Star Wars. Cross, Star Wars, cross. <laughs> okay, whatever. And so I guess on your desk, you want to use this pen and display it where you can see it. Oops, I don't want to drop it. This is how it would look. I'll reenact that in the writing section of this video, so don't worry. Overall, I think it's a, you know, for a, for any Star Wars fan, I think this would be a really cool addition to any Star Wars memorabilia collection. So the number one thing to find out now is how does the pen write? Yeah, well, let's check it out. Let's see how it writes.
Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Cross Townsend Star Wars Limited Edition Chewbacca fountain pen. You know, I didn't think it was a bad writing experience. I thought it did really well. And I, I do think the nib was nice. And so there's a little bit of feedback, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like, you know, scratchy or toothy or anything like that. It was actually quite a pleasant experience. Yeah. So I do, I, I just, I'm, feel, I'm feeling the pen right now and, and I can feel the texture of the etching and I think it's kind of cool. It feels cool. So it's, um, I just like the way, I kind of like the way they've reinterpreted the appearance of Chewbacca through this pen. I think it's really, really awesome. So gosh, if we get our hands on like a freaking Darth Vader one or, you know, we can have like a little fight or something with the pen. Okay, whatever. It would be fun. It would be a lot of, admit it, it'd be fun. You'd enjoy it. All right, well, that's all I have. Hopefully you've learned something about this pen that, or maybe this is the first time you're ever seeing it, but check it out. You can actually, I believe they have it up on their website over at dromgools.com. And it's, again, it's a really great, it's a great store if you're ever in Houston, go check it out. It's a family owned store since 19, 1961, I believe. So, or 1960, but they've been around, around they've been around a while, so but it's a good store, lots of fun. All right, yeah. and that's how the ink flows. Mm -hmm.